What's poppin' everybody? Today I'm back. I feel like this is loud. Today I'm back doing a little chit chat. Get ready with me. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a minute. I haven't done a makeup video in general in a minute. But I would go ahead and show you guys my recent like go-to simple glam and just talk about a couple things that have been going on. So if you guys are gonna be getting ready or whatever you do while watching my videos then go ahead and do that because i'm gonna be here for a minute i feel like the last video that i did like this i don't even remember what it was maybe it was like a pink glitter i don't recall but today i'm getting ready to go to dinner with my parents i'm a little nervous i haven't been in like the same area with both of them for longer than like 10 minutes in a couple years so we'll see how this goes i hope i'm not being set up but we'll see okay I feel like my eyebrows are a little bit more even now. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, but they look a little bit more even to me. Good morning to me. I've had a couple different backgrounds in my past more recent videos. I've really been trying to like reorganize my room and I finally think I found a setup that I like. I wanna um push that like more to the side my little shoe organizer and then put another one on the other side for when I get like more sneakers and stuff and then I want to put like bags on top of it and then um I don't know what to do with like my extra shoe boxes I don't like the way that they look up there but I guess it'll have to do for now can you see my little wig head a little like styrofoam wig thing <laughs> up there but yeah i'm still figuring that out and then i moved to like my little actually it's a big dresser i moved my dresser to this side and then i need to get stuff for my wall my little organizer is right here and then you guys are on my vanity right now and then obviously my bed is just right there i still need to paint my room and then get a couple little things for it but what is this a lot of you guys are asking me about like moving out and stuff like that and i do still plan to move out hopefully this year um either by summer like june july before um next school semester starts i think the school semester starts in september but yeah before then hopefully which is actually soon april may june july september four months i do plan on staying around um the same area that i'm in right now i don't really want to move like too far yet even though like literally anywhere else besides where i'm at would be so much cheaper but right now i'm cool here okay so for my simple glam the palette that i've been using is actually a new one for me um i haven't really done any videos with this one but this is the juvia's palette palette the nubian i'm pretty sure this is like one of their original ones i picked this one up at ulta and i love it Look at my brushes, I washed all of them. This is the Jeffree Star JS5. I think this says five. Did you guys hear about him getting robbed? Tragic. Um, it was so funny because I guess like one of the places that people were selling like his robbed products was Whittier, which is like close to me, so I thought that was funny. Whittier really putting itself on the map. The first shade that I'm gonna get <coughs> is this little tan one here and i'm just putting this right into like my outer crease and then blending it in and the look that i'm going for is really simple and like glowy shimmery Okay, and now <clears throat> that that's blended in, I'm gonna go in with the other Jeffree Star brush. This is the JS6, and then I'm going to go in with this little darker brown shade right over here. Just a little bit at first. And then I'm just popping this into the outer third. And I'm just blending this in and then going in with the other brush to make sure that it still looks soft at the edges. And then doing the same thing on the other side. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is go in with this little shader brush here from Morphe. It doesn't have a name, it came in the set. Pretty much 
what I'm doing is just going in with this shimmery shade right here. This one. And then um, like putting it in my inner and then middle of my eye. And I spray it with like a little setting spray. Just so that it gets like a lot shinier and more pigmented. And then um, to even it out, since this does look like really bright compared to the rest of it, I'm going to go ahead and go in with more of the brown and the same JS6 brush and then just blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and clean up because I did get fallout everywhere. Now it's time for face makeup. Face makeup is like my favorite part just because it means like I'm almost done. Primer, I still use my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Let's see, what's going on in the next month? It's April, it's like the middle of April. Um, May, I'm going to Rolling Loud in Miami. I'm actually really excited. I wasn't really sure if I was still gonna go, um, just cause I wasn't really feeling it. Like when Rolling Loud LA was coming, I was excited. Like by October, I was like Rolling Loud in December. Like I'm hyped, you know? But then now I was like, mm, Miami's in a month and I'm not really feeling it. So I didn't know if I was going to go, but I was like, I'll book my stuff anyway. And then we'll see. And I think I really just like needed to book it to get a little bit more excited. Because before like I had my ticket, but I didn't have like a flight. I didn't have like a place to stay. Like we really, literally all I had was a ticket. So yeah, but now that I'm starting to book more stuff, um, I'm getting a little bit more excited. I still don't know what to wear and I have no idea what to wear and the same thing happened for Rolling Loud LA but I really want to like wear something cute for Miami because it's fucking Miami like we need to look good I'm leaving on I believe the 9th and I'm coming back on like the 14th I'm only missing one day of school which is actually like not that bad I'm excited to go to Miami just because I'm gonna do like a lot of vlogging I want to do um, a vlog for each day before um at my other rolling loud vlog i only did like one vlog for everything and it wasn't really vlog it was just like clips random clips that i ended up filming i feel like miami will be better for me i'll just probably feel like more comfortable vlogging and stuff so i want to do one video each day i want to do like a um a travel video like a, a pack with me slash like packing essentials stuff like that if you guys have any other ideas that you would like me to do like related to that type of thing go ahead and let me know because i'm so open to anything this is the first trip that i'm going on like by myself kind of um well not like by myself obviously i'm not going alone I'm going with a couple of my friends but this is the first one that i'm going on like with no parents like flying without like my mom or my dad and yeah i'm really excited okay looking is done i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the same powder I don't know who recommended me the airspun powder. To everyone who commented that, why? I tried it and it gave me the worst flashback ever. So I don't know how much they were paying these YouTubers to say that it was good because I heard a lot of people talking about it and a lot of people saying how good it was. And then I tried it and it literally gave me flashback without, like even in pictures without any flash. Like my light right here, like this, normally like this, Normally, like, for selfies and stuff, I'll stand in front of that, and, like, it'll give me, like, a really good, like, look. When I had the airspun powder, it gave me, like, a white cast without any, like, front flash or anything. And then when I put the flash on, ooh, it was, like, ten times worse. So, yeah, I don't know who was recommending it to me, but y'all some liars. A lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm planning to get more tattoos, and yes, I am. Right now, I have for this one. It's pretty much healed already, pretty much. I just need to go get a little, like, touch-up. In some areas but it's still pretty cute i want to get my next tattoo i want to get right here i want it to say hustle for nipsey hustle and then also just like in general um i was watching nipsey hustle's um funeral today or like clips from it it was so sad i'm not gonna get into it too much but i feel like he just left a really big mark on la especially on everybody in la he did a lot for the community and i saw on twitter that barack obama even wrote him a letter and that's crazy it was just like one of those things where you're like, wow, like I can't even believe it. Like I didn't believe it when it first happened. And it's something that like really sticks with you. Like a lot of things in social media or whatever, they just like pass over. You're like, wow, like that's crazy. But then like the next day you forget about it. But this, I feel like it'll really stick with people for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the bottom of my eyes using this little brush and the same dark brown. I'm so hungry. All I ate today was three waffles. 
I know that sounds like a lot, three waffles, but it's because I woke up at like one. But there wasn't any like lunch food. I didn't feel like buying anything. So I um, just ate waffles. And then I'm going to dinner at six. So I was like, I can't like eat anything to ruin my dinner, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna tightline. I feel like this makes my eyes stand out a little bit more. A lot of people ask me why I don't do winged liner and it's because I suck at winged liner. So I just tight line to make it look like I have liner on when I don't. And I do the same thing with my bottom or lower lash line. Now I'm going to do my contour. Just using my L'Oreal Too Match Powder and this Morphe M510. This brush like sucks now. I don't know if you guys see it, but it's all like gross over here. For highlight, I just use my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Palette. I don't think I've ever done swatches of this, but I'll show you guys them right now. Like, I put this in one of my favorite. Oh my god, you can't even see it because the whatchamacallit, the light. But, look, I don't know how well you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see the first one just because my light is really bright, but they are shimmery and creamy and you can't really tell my skin tone because it kind of blends into it but it's bomb i just mix like the shimmery one and then the little blush and then put this on as like a little highlight slash blush i'm gonna do my lips now if you guys know any good um nude lip combinations go ahead and let me know because i've been looking like gloss because I've been looking for a good nude gloss, but I don't even know like, where to start because I never do gloss. I'm gonna do some mascara. I'm gonna make my lips a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go in with another layer of the MAC Honey Love, but I'll do that after. The lashes that I'm gonna use today or i just want some simple little lashes so these are from lash i don't know if you guys can see them I'll put them like this so you guys can see these are from lash brats i'll leave um i'll leave their little instagram down below and also right over here they sent me two of these and these are super bomb i wore them in my story time video just a couple days ago and i like them because they're not too like dramatic so whenever I'm looking for something not dramatic, these are the ones I will go to. I'm gonna gel down my brows just using my hair gel. Okay. So you can tell they're cute, subtle lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair now. Okay. When I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. A lot of people think that I often wear two different lashes, but no. It's just that my eyes are a little bit like uneven. So obviously if my eyes are a little uneven, the lashes that I put on are gonna be a little bit uneven as well. So it's not me, it's my eyes. Don't know how to fix it. Don't even think I can fix it. So it is what it is, it be what it be. The um, flat iron spray that I've been using lately and the one that I really love is Smoothing Plus Shea Sleek Smooth Styling Spray. I got this from Ulta and um, my hair used to get like a lot frizzier but since I started using that spray like it really doesn't get too frizzy now. I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair and then I will be right back. Alright guys, so I'm done getting ready. Super late. Don't really have too much to say. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for another video on Monday. If you have any requests, go ahead and let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.